G'day guys and welcome to the show where I report on the latest in gaming news. But if you enjoyed today's video, please remember to smack the like button as always. And now let's jump to our first news report on today's show. And our first news report is something ridiculous. It's that Pornhub's traffic dipped significantly the day that Fallout 4 came out. I know, this is just one of those news reports that you're like, wait... What? What is he talking about? But the thing is, as you guys probably know, a lot of people, including yourselves, took sick days off work, school, or whatever, just to play Fallout 4 the day that it came out. Pornhub is actually one of the world's most popular adult video sites, and they told GamesBeat that they saw a 10% drop in traffic among gamers on Fallout 4's release day. The way they actually find this data is through analytics on Google and everything. Basically, through their insights, they can see how their ads are being served and who they're being served to, and they look at that and they put that into categories and they put us gamers into a specific category and then they see whoa wait a second we've dipped quite a bit thanks to Fallout 4. If you don't know, Fallout 4 already shipped 12 million copies and they saw a peak of 400,000 people playing on Steam alone on release day, which is insane. So yeah, this is one of those news reports that's kind of weird, kind of out there, but hey, it's statistics and it's pretty interesting in the long run. I'll definitely keep you guys up to date with this. Probably not actually because it's such a weird news report, but yeah, I guess we'll just... Uh, I don't know. We're just going to move on to the next news report. And our next news report is all about Rocket League because the developer Psyonix has said it may announce the game for additional platforms by the end of this year, 2015 to be exact, in case you don't know. Currently, you can only play it on the PC and the PlayStation 4. It was launched as a free title on the PS4 through PS Plus. However, the CEO known as David Haywood of the studio Psyonix has stated that they do want to make it available on the Xbox One and we could get that possibly by the end of 2015, which is amazing. This is a story that I'll definitely, definitely keep you guys up to date because this is a massive one. A lot of the people that are just on the Xbox One, not on the PS4 or PC, are missing out on an amazing game here. So hopefully they do announce it for additional platforms and we'll see what those are. Maybe the Xbox One, maybe some other stuff like the Wii U, maybe? I'm not sure, but we'll see. Anyway, now let's move to our final news report on today's show. And it's that EA has now officially announced EA Sports UFC 2. They did tease it earlier this week, but now it's an official thing, and they did show us a screenshot of Ronda Rousey. It is a work in progress screenshot. However, it does look just, just beautifully amazing. I'm not saying Ronda is, well, I guess for a fight, I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this, but look at this, look at the graphics. Now, to be specific about everything, the game will be launching in spring 2016 on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. And on top of that news there, Ronda Rousey will be on the cover of the game. And speaking of Ronda Rousey, you you have seen everything make sure you follow my twitter because i will be giving away some stuff real soon for the ufc pay-per-view that's happening tomorrow so look out for that and there we have it that is our gaming news for today hopefully you guys enjoyed it now gorilla man please hand me that question thanks all man okay guys and the question is what superhero game is the best superhero game of all time and why so put your answers in the comment section down below and you could end up on the next show but if you enjoyed today's video make sure you smack the like button because i'm champ trolling my ass and it's trailing you there <laughs>